Hey guys, hey, welcome to Mondays with Mark. I'm Mark, and this is Smokey Stephen Mark. <laughs> welcome or welcome back. Oh, is it nice to see you? Let me tell you, I was looking forward to seeing you all day today, and we we have a fun show tonight. Oh, today it's all about entree to soup. Oh yeah, we're gonna take some of our favorite dinner entrees and we're gonna transform them into soups. Ooh, it's gonna be so much fun. And we have two recipes to do today. But, uh, but first, of course, we're gonna get caught up with a little bit of chit chat. So how are you, huh? How are you? <laughs> did you have a nice weekend? Oh, I hope you did. How's your weather, by the way? Ours has been like, you know, like kind of teetering there, you know, like one day it'll be like 65, almost 70 and sunny out. And then the next day it'll be like 45, 50. And it's just been, you know, going up and down like that. But uh, we do have a frost advisor each night. Well, not us, not not Scranton, but some of the surrounding um, counties have a frost warning tonight. So uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but summer is definitely on its way. And I don't have anything planted outside yet. Um, so I'm not too, too worried about the, uh, the frost or anything like that. Um, I do have all of my all of my seeds planted, and there are, some of them are already sprouting too. It's crazy. Um, but uh, I'm anxious to get out there. Probably, I don't know. Maybe uh, I'm probably gonna wait till the second week of May just to be safe to start putting stuff in the outside. So we'll see. Oh, and we we have tulips, y'all. Look, I did decide to cut them. I did. Aren't they beautiful? They're so vibrant yellow. I mean, they're they're just. They're really, really beautiful, aren't they? And they smell, oh, they smell so good. Ah. Oh, and oh, by the way, happy Earth Day to ya. <laughs> Definitely, oh, today is Earth Day. Oh, what a wonderful way to, to bring awareness and attention to, you know, to things like climate change and, um, well, kind of, you know, doing our part, no matter how small it is, right? Um, you know, recycling, upcycling, um, reusing things, like, you know, and we do do our part here. We, we, we recycle and, um, of course, I compost and, uh, of course, I upcycle with all the DIYs. I love upcycling DIYs, but, um, yeah, really, really. Really, I, I like Earth Day, and um, I always try to take a little bit of time and read a little bit about it and um, say, oh, you know what? I could do a little bit more <laughs> um, because I think we can all play a part no matter how small it is. You know, even if it's a tiny little thing that we do, times that by the number of people who do a small thing, and it does make a difference, you know. Ah, ah, do you hear a little bit of silence? So we have, um, okay, so right over here is our window, and right beneath the window, about two weeks ago, they installed an, an exhaust fan. Yeah, and it comes off and on on its own, and it's very loud. <laughs> it makes, makes filming kind of, like, you know, iffy there, but I don't know. We'll deal with it. I don't know. We're still working on that audio issue, but... Um, oh, and I did want to say, um, you know, Steve apologizes for not being with you last night. We were running so late. We didn't get back until... Well, it was almost 7.30, and... Um, Gosh, by the time we got settled, and we both had to work this morning, and um, and he's still feeling a little under the weather, too. Um, I wasn't feeling well this week either, but I think I'm feeling a little bit better now. I'm glad about that. <laughs> Yesterday and today, definitely a difference uh, in the way I feel. And there was something, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, so last week we did our first gardening video. Yeah, it was fun. Um, and, uh, and, and one of our uh, projects we did were these um, potting, uh, uh, a, a, pot, uh, what, what, a potting, a pot, potting pot, I don't know, a pot gnome, okay, it was our DIY from last week, and I had a lot of people, um, were asking a lot of questions, and hey, can you do, is there something you could print out, and I was like, oh, what a great idea, like a recipe, but for a DIY, so I went ahead and did it, 
and I'll be sure to post that over on social media because it explains in such a simple way how to make this. Um, I'm glad y'all liked it. It is kind of cute and really simple, huh? So, um, so I'll be sure to um, I'll be sure to post that so you can uh, either screenshot it or download it, you know. So, um, all right. So you know, I think I'm yapping, yapping away. Um, I'm gonna make sure I don't want to forget anything though because I only see it once a week. Well, okay, not technically, but once a week on Mondays with Mark. But we should get started because we have a couple recipes to do today. And our theme is main course to soup. So we have two dinner entrees that we're going to transform into soup dishes tonight, okay? And uh, oh, they're both really good. Y'all, you, you know how much I love. I am definitely a soup guy for sure. I have it pretty much every single night with my dinner. I, and sometimes I have it as dinner. And I cook soup uh, probably three, four times a week at least, you know? Um, so that, uh, I, I don't know, I just always loved soup and I love cooking soup too. So, uh, so we have two fabulous recipes tonight. So why don't we head over to the kitchen and get started? Um, let me think here. So, do you like stuffed chicken breasts? Okay, for our first entree to soup recipe, we're gonna make some stuffed chicken soup. Oh my gosh, I love this soup. We make it so often, in fact, so often that I don't even have a recipe for it. I had to make it last week and write everything down so that I could do this video today. So um, this, this soup is so delicious, it just has all of those flavors of a stuffed chicken breast, the chicken, the dressing, even the gravy. Okay, you know what? Let's get started, shall we? All right, for our ingredients here, we have our classic mirepoix. That would be one cup each of diced up celery, onions, and carrots. Then we have a full uh, two sticks of butter, unsalted, that'd be one cup. And then we have one cup of flour. We have eight cups of good quality chicken broth there. Oh yeah, homemade, even better. <laughs> and as far as our seasonings go, we have two tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley, one teaspoon of thyme leaves, one half teaspoon of salt and pepper, and one half teaspoon of fresh chopped sage. And then, oh boy, we need to have some uh, one recipe of stuffing balls, okay? Now, you can use my recipe here, or you could use your own recipe, which is a basic recipe for dressing, except we roll them into one inch balls, and then we bake them until they're nice and crispy. About 375 for about 12 minutes. But this recipe, it's great um, if you wanna use it to stuff, stuff a bird, or as a side dish, or of course, for our stuffing balls. And ours are all done and ready to go. And for the chicken, oh yeah. So here I have three uh, split chicken breasts, bone in, skin on, and I just roasted them in the oven. Um, but first I seasoned them with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika, and uh, roasted them at uh, 375 for about 30 minutes until they're nice and brown like that. Now next what we're gonna do is allow these to cool, and we're gonna take all the meat off and shred it up, but we're gonna save our skins and save our bones, okay? So. Let's get this soup together. Okay, <laughs> for our first step here, we have our mirepoix, our onions, our carrots, and our celery in with our butter, and we sauteed them down for, oh, about six or seven minutes, just until they soften up a little bit. And now we're gonna add all of our seasonings, and uh, we're going to continue to let that cook and stir for another minute. Then we're going to add our flour. Just give that a little sprinkle in there like that. And then we're gonna stir it up until it's all incorporated in there. And we're gonna continue to let it cook um, for another minute or two. Ooh, nice. All right. So now we're going to add our broth, but we're gonna add it in thirds, okay? So we're just gonna pour about a third of that in there like that and then wait for it to come to a boil, and then we're gonna give that a stir, but we're gonna use a whisk for it, okay? Ooh, uh, nice and thick. All right, time to add our other third. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna let that come back up to a boil and give it a stir again. Dun, dun. Ooh, nice, okay. All right, and now for our our last third of our stuff. Pour that right in there. 
Okay, but this time we're going to add uh, our 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 bouquet go gar uh, garnet. Now, what, what the heck is this, right? <laughs> well, what this is is our skins and bones from one of our chicken breasts that we roasted earlier, and I wrapped them up in some uh, cheesecloth there, and uh, we're gonna add those right into our soup like that, and uh, let that come up to a boil again, and then let that simmer for uh, about 10 minutes. Reduce the heat just a little bit and let it simmer for about 10 minutes, giving it a stir every once in a while, okay? Alrighty. It's been about 10, 12 minutes, so we're gonna remove our uh, chicken bouquet garnet. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to add our chicken. I shredded it all up. And when you're shredding your chicken, just be mindful. You know, check for bones. Make sure we don't want any bones in there, you know. I know I didn't have to tell you that. Um, okay, so we added our chicken. We're going to give that a stir. Doo -doo. And then we're going to add one and a half cups of heavy cream. I did forget to mention this in the ingredient list. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to stir that until it's all thoroughly combined. And once this starts to boil again, um, we are just about done. Oh, nice. Okay, and finally we add our stuffing balls. Woohoo! <laughs> and give them a stir in there. And then we're just going to, you know, just let this simmer for a minute. All we want to do is heat those stuffing balls through, and it is finished. And, I mean, really? All that's left to do is ladle her up into some bowls and dig in? Oh, all right there. And then, let's see, we'll garnish it with, oh, perfect. A little sprig of thyme here. Put that down in there. Oh, nice. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my goodness. There you have it. Our stuffed chicken soup. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, 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 round two for our main course two soup recipes. And this one, oh, oh, it's so good. It's another one of my favorites. So, do you like cheeseburger macaroni? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, I thought so. I love cheeseburger macaroni. The homemade kind, the hamburger helper kind, I do. I like it. I admit it, I like it. <laughs> well, we're gonna make some cheeseburger macaroni soup. Oh, it's gonna knock your socks off. It's so delicious, y'all. Um, now, we've made homemade cheeseburger macaroni uh, as a dinner here on the channel before but never like this never as a soup like this so come on let's get started and here we go so back here we have eight cups of good quality beef broth and then we have one cup of heavy whipping cream one pound of ground beef we have three tablespoons of tomato paste and that is a half a cup of flour and two cups of freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese four ounces of cream cheese which we cut into cubes and brought to room temperature a tablespoon of worcestershire sauce and then we have about four Four cups of cooked macaroni pasta. Now, I, I cooked it till al dente, and then I cooled it to stop the cooking process. <laughs> and then as far as our seasonings go, we have two tablespoons, about five cloves of minced garlic, two tablespoons of chopped up parsley, and then we have a half a teaspoon of salt, and then one teaspoon each of Italian seasoning and pepper. And over here in our pot, our mirepoix, and that would be one cup each of celery, onions, and carrots all diced up. And we're sauteing those in five tablespoons of butter. <laughs> and we're just going to let that saute until um, the vegetables just start to soften up a little bit and it's nice and fragrant. And then uh, to that, we're going to add our ground beef. Bam! And uh, we're going to continue cooking until our beef is all cooked all the way through. No pink remains. Uh, and that should take about five minutes. Make sure you break up those clumps as you cook. And now we're going to add our Worcestershire sauce. And that was about a tablespoon there. Okay. And then we're just going to give that a little stir there. Okay. Da, da, da. That's perfect. And then we're going to add all of our seasonings. Bam, bam, bam. And our 
tomato paste. Okay, now we have that in there and we're gonna just give that a stir and uh, we're gonna let that cook uh, until you until that garlic becomes nice and fragrant, actually. And uh, our tomato paste is kind of mixed in there. That'll just be about a minute. Smelling good here. <laughs> okay, and now at this point, we're gonna add our flour, just to give that a sprinkle over the top like that. And then we're gonna stir it up here and uh, we're gonna continue to stir until all of our flour is, you know, nice and uh, absorbed by all of our ingredients there. And we're gonna let that cook a little bit just to get that raw flour taste out of there. Um, that'll be about another uh, minute to two minutes. And that is what we're looking for there. It's starting to starting to coat the bottom of our pan there, like that. And uh, our flour is nice and uh, cooked through. All right, so now what we're gonna do is add our broth, and we're only gonna add half of it right now. About four cups or so, okay? And then we're gonna let that come up to a boil, and then once it reaches a boil, we're gonna switch over to a whisk, and we're just gonna whisk it until it starts uh, to thicken up a little bit, okay? So right now, we're gonna wait for him to boil. And we are boiling, we are boiling. All right, so now we're gonna just give this a stir with our whisk here and continue stirring, or whisking, I should say, uh, until, you'll see, it'll start to thicken up just a little bit. All right, just like that. Can you see? It's a little bit thicker there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and now we're gonna uh, we're gonna repeat what we just did. We're gonna put the rest of our broth in. Bam! <laughs> and then let it come to a boil, and then whisk it up again. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Ooh, nice. Okay, so now at this point, what we're going to do is reduce that heat down to medium. And uh, we're just going to let her simmer for about 10 minutes or so uncovered. And uh, you can give it just a, just an occasional little stir there, okay? Okay, so after about 10 minutes, I added our heavy cream and our cream cheese to our soup mixture. And then we're going to continue to cook and stir until that cream cheese is all nice and melted. All right, just perfect there. Okay. And you'll see that a few will come up to the top there. Like there's one that, like there, you know, you'll see a couple little, um, pieces of cream cheese. That's not a big deal. You know, it's so funny. I remember the first time I used cream cheese in a soup recipe. <laughs> um, I'm like, oh, it's not melting. It's not melting. I sat there and pushed all the little lumps to the edge of the pan and tried to smooth them out and tried to, you know, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. Um, it's cream cheese. It will melt. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to add our cheddar. Oh, yes. Argument. Argumentally the best part of the soup. <laughs> and then we're going to just stir that up until all that cheese is melted oh yes 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 okay and finally oh yes our macaroni for our cheeseburger macaroni what? soup all right that's all there is to it all we got to do is ladle her up into some bowls you know what let's do that now Okay, yeah, you tell I'm excited. Okay, so let's um <clears throat> let's garnish this. Yes, I have a little piece of parsley here. We're gonna put right, we'll just lay it right on there. Oh my goodness, this soup when I tell you this is one of my favorite soups, I ain't lying, it is. I of this soup. Now, if you want to go with the more, um, you know, traditional look of a cheeseburger macaroni dish, you know, it looks, well, yellow, like yellow cheese, go ahead and use extra sharp yellow cheddar cheese if you'd like. I just really love the taste of extra sharp white, especially uh, Vermont or New York. Uh, so that's what I use in this soup here. But, um, and oh my gosh, for a little burst of flavor, toss in a can of petite diced fire roasted tomatoes oh so good <laughs> all right there you have it our cheeseburger macaroni soup <laughs>
two soups ready to chow down on. I'm a happy guy. I think for dinner tonight, I'm going to have a little soup sampler. Definitely. Um, I love that at restaurants where you can order a, a soup sampler and they give you like, I don't know, three or four different uh, cups of their soups. You know, I love that. And uh, I happened to make some uh, ravioli soup um, yesterday or the day before. So we have actually three soups here in the house. So definitely soup sampler tonight for dinner. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? I gotta get changed and uh, I'll meet you back on the couch. I do, oh, now the clean up, right? It's gonna take me a couple minutes to clean up here. Um, so let me think, Um, I know. Why don't you enjoy yourselves with a little L-O-L? such a good time oh so what do you think of the recipes you like them oh i hope you do they really they really are our delicious recipes they are and uh i don't know i have a feeling that this is a theme that we'll probably probably do over and over again um because it certainly is a lot of fun and there certainly are oh my gosh the possibilities are pretty much endless you know so like it's funny because for the last week i was like you know i was looking at like i'm like oh that looks good i wonder if i could turn that into a soup you know and uh so and uh i, I just think that there's a lot of opportunities to turn those main courses into soups oh for sure so we'll definitely be doing this again <laughs> but yeah i hope you really enjoyed the recipes and oh someone came up to say hello do you think is he gonna play godzilla or is he gonna oh he's gonna come over here and say hi well you know he has to always stop in and say hi right Oh, why so cute? Yeah. Oh, I know. It's true. See? He talks. <laughs> he has a lot to say today. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I kept you long enough tonight. I really hope you had a good time tonight. And thank you so much for spending your time with me. It, it means the world to me. It really does. It means the world to me and Bandit. It does. <laughs> and uh, you know what else would mean the world to me? If you would hit that subscribe button <laughs> and that notification bell so you know when we have a new video coming out. All of our contact information is listed right down below. That's our email address and our post office box. If you have any questions about the rest recipes we did, just go ahead, shoot me an email, okay? And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And definitely check us out over on social media. We're on X, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you again, everybody. Really, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I will see you next time, okay? All right. Ciao, everybody. <laughs> Bye, Bandit.